Don't you ever forget it. You're one of us now. The air feels so heavy in here. After months of secrets, subterfuge, and indoctrination, they brought me into their fold. This place is elaborate, to say the least. Despite the modernistic visage, the research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly, my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. This is not a negotiation, Dr. Jimenez. We are expected to reach a solution, hence the founding of this facility. I understand that, and I, I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis, and there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts, a mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual, potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room, let me show you. That video, I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. This research here, this is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. 
You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. And in that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. I'd like you to bring this man in. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? and bring him back. That's all that matters. Please guide subject to construct facial, hand, and neural profile. I don't think anyone's gonna help me out with this.
biomatches terminated agent Julie Kidman. Termination reason, insubordination. Profile reinstated, but data sent to Central Mobius for analysis. Insubordination? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I should be able to open those doors now. An error has occurred. Please wait while power is being restored. Keeping our facilities clean is appreciated. 
Our workplace is a fine place because of your support. Okay, make it convincing. Detectives! I'm here! I'm safe! Sebastian! Joseph! Mobius. So they sent you to take the boy back. And you trust him. Don't kid yourself. You're just as expendable as your partners are. As I was. After all... <laughs> we'll see how loyal you are when you know the truth. Are you alright? Do you wish to remain in the dark about information that will undoubtedly disturb you?